So I'm going to show you how to change the spark plugs on this engine. It's a 1.6 litre petrol single overhead cam, 8 valve by VW Audi and their designation for it is BSE. And this engine is in a 2011 Octavia. You also find it in the Golf, the Fiat Leon and the Audi A3. And when you first look at it, for where the spark plugs are, you think, oh, come on, you're having a laugh here. But as we know, uh, Germans don't do jokes apart from uh, their emissions test results. So there's got to be a way of doing this, and I'll tell you what it is. Some people say you need to take the inlet manifold off. You don't. Uh, as long as you've got the right tools, you can do it without a big strip down. The first thing to do is to take off this blower on its bracket. You don't have to do this, but it makes your life a lot easier if you do, and it's only a five minute job. You squeeze these connectors here, forward and back on the ribbed bits there. You just give that a squeeze and it pops off, two of them to come off. Pull off this electrical connector, standard sort of shrouded electrical connector, bring it with your screwdriver, that comes off. And then on this bracket, underneath the back there's one hex uh, cap head bolt takes an allen key and then there's a stub that sticks out that's got an m13 nut on it and then at the top are these two torx connectors teeth uh, torx bolts t30 i think so you've got four fasteners of three different types two torx a socket head and a M13 nut and when you've unpinned those you can take this lower and bracket out of the way which makes your life a lot easier. Next thing you need to do is to pull off these um, spark plug gaps. Let's see if I can get it to uh, where you can see it. Here we are. These things here they're quite um, deep metal caps don't go pulling them on the leads or you'll break the leads you, you can get in underneath and ping them up with a screwdriver leave it against the block but you'll make your life easier if you have one of these there's the VWRD spark plug puller tool this is the BGS knockoff which is a fraction of the price of the uh, VWRD one um, part number there these are about 12 quid they make your life a lot easier if you see they've got these sort of lugs on it so you put it over the spark plug cap and you twist it to engage the cap and then you pull and they come off now number one is sorry there's a number four number four is easy to get to number one is easy to get to Number three, a little bit more tricky, you go in down the side of the inlet manifold here, and it's down there. And then number two is the trickiest, but trust me, you can get a shot at it between this injector wire and the side of the inlet manifold, and it's down in there. So you pull off all four plugs, plug caps, sorry. And then the next thing you need is something like this, connected to an airline. Psst, psst, psst. These all sit in deep sockets, and the sockets fill with sand and flies and muck and all the rest of it, which will drop down into the bores if you don't blow it out first. So you've got the caps off, and you give this a good on all four of these to blow out all the sand and dust. You'll see clouds of it coming out. So give them a good clean. Next thing you need is one of these. It needs to be about 300 mil long, and it needs to have that articulated end to it. And you use this to um, undo your spark plugs. Again, numbers four and one are easy enough to get to. Number two down there and num sorry number three is down there and number two is down here that you get in through there so uh, it's not quite a straight shot at it for those two but just with a little bit of uh, adjustment
adjustment in the universal joint here you will get them unscrew them take them out that um, is a 16 mil die so having got those out we've got to put our new spark plugs in and for that we need a bit of hose like this don't try putting them in using the this wrench tool because it's just too easy to get them in skew with and cross thread it in the soft alloy head use a bit of hose like this a bit of propane hose this Just put your spark plug into the end of it the spark plugs go in dry no oil no copper slip anything like that otherwise your torque wrench settings are all wrong and you risk stripping the thread they go in dry and put them in screw them in and actually if you get down and under here you can see uh, the bottoms of them and see that they're seated nicely into the block. Uh, next thing to do is to get this out again and tighten them down and then fit your uh, torque wrench into the end of that, set up the appropriate torque setting which I'll put in the notes uh, and then click 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 you've got them torqued down appropriately and um, then you need to put your spark plug caps back on and for that this tool that you used for removing them is nice for putting them back in you can engage it over and push them back down on the four of them and then the uh, last thing to do is to refit your blower with your hoses electrical connectors your screws and bolts and that's the job done so that's how we replace the spark plugs on the 1.6 litre petrol vw audi bse uh, eight valve single overhead cam engine